Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of History Science Fiber. My name is Zoe McDonald. Now today's episode is going to focus on the workshop myself and my friend Rita Comps of the Musqueam First Nation just gave up at the Squamish Lillewood Cultural Center up in Whistler, British Columbia. Let's get started. And so the two of us uh, had packed up the car and we left pretty early about 6 a.m. to drive from Vancouver along the beautiful Sea to Sky Highway up past Squamish all the way to Whistler. And so at Whistler there is a really really amazing um, center and a cultural center and museum called the Squamish Lewat uh, Cultural Center or the SLCC uh, and they were hosting us for the day to teach natural dyeing. And uh, the really fun thing when I get to teach this topic with Rita is, um, you know, I can cover modern dyeing and I can cover, you know, the science side and why we name things the way that we do and organize things the way that we do um, when we're understanding them and identifying them for foraging and using them. Um, Rita really comes in with her views as an Indigenous woman um, as an, and... Um, and shares kind of the more of the traditions and the perspectives that represent her culture and her knowledge and the two of us teach together. Um, and I really love it. it. It really creates this, this space where we recognize science as just one system of knowledge and we recognize that there are many, many others um, and that it's sort of through all of them that we better understand the world. And so um, we got there and uh, to the center and today we were um, teaching a group of Indigenous youth from several different Indigenous nations. Um, and it was just, we had a great time. Um, we in, uh, introduced um, kind of, how, so how you go about dying with a number of, of different things. We started off with, um, something called uh, curly dock, which is an invasive here. So how you die, how do you die with an invasive species? Then we did onion skins and uh, we taught wolf lichen, which is a pre-contact and early contact dye here on the west coast of British Columbia. We did mushrooms, so we did blue chanterelles, uh, lobster mushrooms, we did matter, which is which you can grow in your garden. Um, it's been used to dye reds uh, since even before before Viking Age. We did Cordinaria smithii, which is a kind of mushroom that can give you two reds. Um, and we ended up uh, with logwood, which you can, depending if you change up your morden, you can actually get a true black and a deep, deep purple from. So we really covered the full full gambit in terms of colors today. Um, we, we did something that was very pH sensitive, which is the lobster mushroom. We changed the dye vat for the wolf lichen by adding copper sulfate and doing that gave it much more of a, of a greeny color. Um, but all told, like we, we were at it sort of most of the day and then um, all the kids got to pick different colors and redo the dye vats with, with their own, so um, with their own color choices. And it was just a great day in a beautiful space. We were dying in the day um, in their longhouse at the center and uh, really, really positive experience for everybody. It's my second time teaching there and I can't wait to come back. Uh, this one was a, was a more of a fall workshop. Um, we taught it in November, so it was much more focused on stuff that you can forage in the fall, like the mushrooms. And um, if we come back, we would love to do a spring one where we got to look at stuff that you harvest uh, in, the, in a completely different season. So all in all, it was just a great day. It was a long day, <laughs> but a really great one. And we're so grateful for the center for having us up um, and creating such a positive, welcoming and supportive atmosphere in which to, to celebrate nature and share knowledge, uh, share knowledge all around. So big props to them. And um, uh, it was just a great day. Thanks so much, everybody. Uh, talk to you soon.